roaring over the shore with eye-popping maneuvers. The Air Force Thunderbirds generating a surge of soaring excitement at today's Atlantic City Air Show. With what they say is the most precise flying in the world. Like the beauty of it to kind of see how they are all, you know, in the sky and able to kind of move, maneuver like that. It's, it's really a finesse to it. It has to be. The air show kicking off with this drop in from the Army's Golden Knights aerial parachute demonstration team. More than 20 high flying performances turning heads along the beach and boardwalk. Authorities estimate the air show drew about 550,000 people, the biggest turnout it's had in years. We just love it because it's close and it's a great air show and tons of great acts and always want to see a Thunderbirds. Skyforce 10 featured in a flyby, its cameras giving us a view of the sea of people on the sand below. Just a great place to gather with friends, a great day on the beach, and a great show. The event in its 19th year is billed as the largest midweek air show in the nation. Organizers say it fuels an economic boost of between 50 and 70 million dollars to the city. Absolutely great tribute to our country. The theme of the air show, a salute to those who serve. Bob Spear is a Marine Corps veteran. It means a lot because when I got out, they didn't like us very well at all. And we didn't get no pats on the back or hooray, hurrah. I'm glad to see the young men and women being appreciated uh, for their courage and their values. First responders from across New Jersey were on hand here to help keep people safe. Authorities tell me more than a dozen people were taken to the hospital, some of them for heat related issues, but otherwise there were no major problems. In Atlantic City, I'm Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.